why it goes up. Tell us more, Noel, about the people in the West Wing. I will. Hey, don't hang around there. Come over here. Because there's a couple of them that got something in common. And it could be useful if you want to get into that very powerful mental state. Peter, you've been hypnotised a couple of times, haven't you? Once or twice. Yes. And on one occasion, I believe you believed you were a male uh, stripper. <laughs> how, how did that go? Mm, bad, badly, I'm told. Have you ever been hypnotised? Have you ever? No. So there's another one has. I don't think she has. Have you ever been hypnotised? No. no, Mary has yes, been hypnotised. Yes, I have. Hypnotized. Are you? <laughs> Mary has been hypnotised more than once. I have. And on one occasion, she thought she was a sponge pudding. <laughs> You had custard on it, didn't you? I did. <laughs> what is going on here? My custard's over there. Oh. <laughs> You've got to follow this show closely to know what on earth this is all about. <laughs> here comes the menu with some names on it. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> and now it's time for you to get your teeth into the banker. a new era of freestyle yeah, bowing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh my word. <laughs> it's Kaz, yeah. or Carol Bradley from Tyne and Weir, school administrator, part-time singer, with husband Tony. Tell me about the singing. Um, well, we met singing at a karaoke 13 years ago. Um, got up and sang a duet together. Uh, and it's just all, oh, where we belong. Oh, very romantic. Yeah, just started dating and... And then start singing. Um, you seem to have brought some stuff. Yeah. Would, would you like to explain the stuff? Why not? Let's... What's your stuff gone? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you the photographs first. Right. This is um, my family. Uh, my youngest brother, Simon. Kev. That's me. And that's my mum. And my nephew, Ben. This is me and Tony on our wedding day seven seven years ago. What are they holding? Golf clubs. Oh. <laughs> he plays golf. He does play golf, yeah. I like the dark look. Yeah. yeah. Better than the blonde. Yeah. I think really? so, yeah. Oh, I do think so. <laughs> uh, this was a discussion I had with um, one of my friends at work. Um, I actually thought ducks had ears. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm sure I did see one. <laughs> it must have been a black sheep. Um, so I had to go on the internet and have a look, and I was proved that ducks did not have ears. <laughs> so at Easter, she, uh, she brought me this back from Florida, and it's got ears. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, shall we learn more about you as we go on? Because yeah. you're all alone, aren't you? Yeah. She's got no one to support her. Aww. Will you all be her friends and family? Yeah. Here we go. I need you please to confirm that you chose box number two at random before the game began. I did. It is still by our independent adjudicator, who is the only person who knows where the money is and seals all 22 boxes. Are you ready then? I am. Good luck! <laughs> Thank you! Okay! God, aren't you all ugly? <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right then. Yeah, I, I don't have any, any lucky numbers as such. I'm just going to go with whatever I feel I need to on the way. All right. I think I'll go with Ronnie first, number 10. Thank you. Do please open box 10 and get Kaz's game underway. You're a stunning lady, Kaz. All the best to you, love. Thank you. Let's 
all right. That's okay. That's all right. One of the banker's favourite five. Ah, okay, I'm gonna go with box 19, Angela. Right, good luck. <laughs> ah, you can grow them up for that one. Got to do your lucky walk, cuz. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. Come oh, on. The lucky walk. Do your lucky walk. Oh, Come please. On. All right. Oh, well, yes, it's the horse walk, isn't it? Is it? A horse walk. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's H O R S E, by the way. Come on, Cass. Shower. That's it. Okay, I'm going to go for Craig, number five. Give me a blue. Come on, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> <laughs> You've been reading my file, haven't you? I have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Craig. I hope it's a canny blue for you. <gasps> Okay, let's find a blue. Good idea. Mike, let's get rid of that box 13. Go on, Mike. Tell us your beautiful lady. Hope it's a blue for you. Thank you. Box 22. Are you? Yeah. All right, Mary? Yes. Good. Good luck. Today, thank you. Yeah, our Kaz is here. What a beautiful lady. You like her theory about ducks? <laughs> you think that's why they say it's good weather for ducks? Yeah, when it's rainy. Yeah. Well, why must they hate it when it's really sunny? Oh, that's true. They can't wear sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. If you think about it, you've never seen a duck wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Yeah, she's a golf widow. <laughs> she says it's quite clear from the picture of your wedding day that you like the older man. Yeah. <laughs> yes, good news for you. Let me have a look and see. Oh, yeah, he's 73. Yeah, whippersnapper he is. Thank you. Well, he says it's a good opening round, and he said don't waste it. By that he means that because you've taken out three of the low reds, you've got loads of blues to aim at there, but he says leave the game early. £8,800. Very good off of that. Especially in the first round. Is it good enough to walk? <laughs> Tell me the question. Eight thousand eight hundred pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr. Banker. But no deal. Yeah. Okay. Rio, the lovely daddy. You're the daddy now. I am. Uh, which part of your responsibilities do you take particularly seriously? All of them. All of them? Yeah. Okay, what are they? I look after all the newbies. And all the oldies. <laughs> I show them where the bar is. 
I'll, I'll let them buy me a drink. <laughs> idea, good idea. Open box 11, please. Good luck, guys. Okay, I'm going to go with Carl, the lovely Carl. Wonderful Carl. What are you feeling today, Carl, about this game? Feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah. yeah. We were hoping it might extend beyond your own personal boundary. How do you feel about the boxes? I think, she, I think it's a good one, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm still going to go with Carl. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, we're still going with you, Carl. Oh. Right, you, you are a natural performer. You're used to standing up in front of large numbers of people and performing, so... Um, would you like to persuade the nation to return after this briefest of breaks? Please come back. I may do another horse walk for you and even get Noel to do it too. <laughs> a little bit of singing and she does a little bit of uh, administrating at school mm -hmm. and uh, she's now a world expert on ducks which is <laughs> nice uh, bearing in mind that many people regard two as a duck symbol right where are we going now because you have to do what the banker suggested and that was take a lot of blues yeah. and I think it'd be a good idea to get into the kissy kissy territory I do too Penny yeah. where's that Penny Ryan Number 17. Have you got it? Hope so. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Tough luck. Didn't get a chance to kiss the horse. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it was 50,000, Kaz. Yeah. Delivered by Carl. Who's developing a sort of a quiet, smiling assassin persona. You see him as razor head. Oh, eraser head. Oh, <laughs> uh, there, rubber head. Uh, just gets the big ones out and rubs them out of the game. those low reds in the first round he says it always guarantees the first few offers are going to be healthy almost despite what you do and he wants you to be the first person ever to go at the second offer 9,250 pounds I like the thing it says in the file that you want to be able to do something for your mum Dorothy yeah yeah, she's, uh, my mum's profoundly deaf and has been from birth, um, and she's brought me, Kev and Sayo, on her own, um, she's just amazing, and it's quite a scary thought to bring something into the world that's going to be highly dependent on you, and she's done it on her own, with a disability, for three of us. And I just, she, it, she's just an inspiration to me and I'd love to be able to give her something to say thank you for saving my life. And Ask me the question. Uh, 9,250 pounds, deal or no deal. Thank you, Mr. Bank, a fantastic offer, but I'm going to say no deal. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Dickie, number six, eh? Okay, Dickie, away you go. OK, 
Raj, you're a beautiful person. Good luck. Thank you. final box. The power of taking the low reds is all dependent upon an early deal. That's why he likes it so. He wants to know how lucky you're feeling. Mm, he wants to know whether you really do believe in the power of the bunny duck. Yes, it's not probable to take out the top three in the next round, but it is possible. Oh, so don't deal in the indefinite. Deal in the definite. Oh, definitely, you can now take home to Tyne and Weir £10,000. What do you think, Andrew? Cartridge 3-2 to you at the moment. Three big numbers. You've taken out his punch card for the 1p. £10,000. Yeah, it's a lot of money. But we've had a couple of discussions over the last couple of nights. And I reckon you've got it in you to have another blue round. The round from hell. It's just words. Blue round. Go for it. Ask me the question, Noel. £10,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Can we have a speed round? Yeah. I need some energy. A speed round? Yeah. That's the polite way of saying a quickie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, have you sorted out which three you're going to do? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Where are we going then? Chance number one. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Over to chance, go! Oh! Oh, I, think we'll, I think we'll hold it just there. That's not good at all. Oh, the spectrum of the world. points out that she's on course for the round from hell, then she says, I'll put the mockers on it. So I've got to be careful about what I say now. It won't happen. No. It won't happen. We're going to go for Claire, number 14. Right, Claire. Uh, could you please make sure it's not one, one of them? Well, on that side, please. <laughs> OK. Right. It's been a lovely mommy cast. We're going to miss you. Right, please, please, please. Oh, and you know what? They're not going to need any encouragement to come back after this break because I know what you like. You're just simply going to want to see whether it is the round from hell. No, we'll hold on to the 75,000. We will definitely do it for mum. But come back and just double check that it's going to be all right. See you shortly. Welcome back to Cassie's 
going, I knew you'd come back. Because you've got that little bit of uh, inquisitiveness to see whether or not uh, this turns out the ghastly way. It's not going to. We're not going to find 75,000. We have a one-box game, yes. But if you can find 10p, it will help. I'm going to go for Michelle. Number 16. We're looking for a low blue and preferably the 10p to balance the fact she's just torn £350,000 out of the game. You just got to believe you're going to do it the hard way. And 75,000 is there in the dock box. Hello. You're not going to gloat. Oh, there's a first. <laughs> Maybe a little gloat. Oh, come on, don't be half hearted about it. For goodness sake. That was so unlucky. Take two of the three. That was really bad. Yes, it wasn't probable, but it was possible. I agree. That last round is history, as he says. As indeed are your chances of taking big money out of this game. He'd like to buy box number two for £750. Cheers. It's just made that easy for you. You've got so many blues to hit there. Yeah. You took the words out of me mouth there, Claire. Thank you. Ask me the question. £750, dear or no deal? Thank you. But no deal. Thank you. Thank you. OK, we're going to find these blues now, aren't we? Yeah. Andrew, number 21. Give me a blue, please. Kaz, absolute pleasure to know you. And I really hope I can get you amongst those blues. <laughs> With the exception of the thousand, you nearly took them one after the other. That is extraordinary bad luck. Come on, Kaz, you've still got 3,000 yeah, there. Yeah, come on. You've still got... Peter, number three. Thank you, Peter. Give us one of those blues. We just don't seem to be able to hunt them down. Kaz, I hope this is a blue for your dear old mum. All right? Charmaine. Charmaine, uh, this would be terribly, terribly cruel if it's not blue. Away you go. Enough cars. Yeah. And all he's going to do is gloat and say, you should have done what I said, left with £10,000. What an incredibly unlucky game. Ah, please don't go on gloating and laughing and all of that. You can feel the atmosphere in here. He wants me to ask him nicely. Please, Mr. Banker, at this point, do not laugh. I bet £750 doesn't sound so bad now, does it? Ooh. Ooh, he's going on. He's saying you want to learn the meaning of damage limitation. £200. Let's keep it together, love. Okay. 
pairs, three thousand pounds, still a lot of money. You can do a lot with three. You can make your mum smile with three thousand pounds. We leave five hundred pounds as well as obviously the, the three thousand. Come on, Kerry, give me a blue number four. Come on, Kerry. You're one of the nicest person I met, Kaz. I really hope it's a blue. unhappy moments in it. You've got to turn the right way now. Are you going left or right? I'm going to go with number seven. Corrine, welcome to the game. Had a really emotional okay, moment. It's not the curse, the new thing. No, no, it's not going to be a curse. You've got 50 pounds in that box. Yes. Figure some, please don't blow it like you did last time. A thousand pounds. Kaz, you can do a lot with a thousand pounds, love, but I think it's too much of a gamble myself. Kaz, I think in light of your board, that's a really good offer, banker. What now? She wouldn't like to go home with a hundred pounds, that's what Shad said. And you don't want her to go home with a hundred pounds. You got a suggestion. Okay. Um, would you like to play double or nothing? If you decline a thousand pounds, and we open box two and discover three thousand, it becomes six thousand pounds. If it's the blue, it is absolutely nothing. Not even the hundred pounds. He's enticing you to at last get a respectable sum of money out of this game. Kaz, don't play the mind games with him. No. Stick with your thousand pounds, love. That's in your hand now. Don't go home with nothing. Kaz, I think he's, he's thrown you a bit of a lifeline there. That's a big opportunity. Six thousand pounds—a big opportunity. If you if you can cope with walking out with nothing, then I'd go for it. You've waited a long time for this opportunity. Um, you you earn money from being a singer, but I saw in your file you've had laryngitis. You've not been able to perform for some time. So I imagine money is probably a little bit tight. 
Um, we would all respect you if you decided to turn your back on that little uh, gamble and take the thousand. On the other hand, it must, for all those reasons, be very enticing to think about six thousand. Yeah. Eighty percent of me wants to go on. It's it's quite uncanny the the, um, the strength you get when you're sitting here, even if you're not a gambler. Um, so 80% of me really, really wants to go on. Kaz, if you really want to go on, you're not letting anybody down. If you, if you ultimately walk out of here with nothing, you've not let anybody down. If you really want to go on. If you want to go on, you go on. Are you ready for the question? Yeah. 1,000 pounds. Deal or no deal. offered double or nothing twice. Both times they've gone home with nothing. He says, enjoy being number three. You may have the swap. Kaz, swap or no swap? No swap. Thank you. So, it's only the third occasion that I'm explaining that actually we now ignore the board completely. Because if it's a blue, it's nothing. If it's a red, it's £6,000. swapped it would have been six thousand pounds in your life it's all right You say it's all right, but obviously it's very painful. Yeah. I just want these guys to feel a little bit better. Um, it is painful. But it's a chance you take. You either play the game to the end or you don't. I've had a fantastic time. I don't think anything would beat meeting you guys being here. So thank you for that. in the future Thank you. and do give Dorothy a big hug from me oh. I hate this moment I've only said it three times you go away with nothing Thank you. and, and I'll say this quietly uh, because you don't want them to hear it uh, there is also a worrying twist to this in that you know, the banker might get a bit of an appetite for that You can watch more episodes of Deal or No Deal and other classics as well by visiting 4OD on channel4.com.